unfortunately for your GCSE maths, you need to learn a lot of equations because the examiners are meanies and I'm not giving them to you anymore. So here are the ones that you need to learn for LXL higher. And when I say learn, I really do mean learn them properly. So you can either use this video to make your own flashcards or you can just watch this video over and over again, save yourself self the time making the flashcards um, because I've done that bit for you. I'm trying to make this as easy for you as possible. So, ready? You've got to know these. Labelling a non-right angled triangle. We need to have opposites, A, B and C. Big letters for the angles, little letters for the edges. This is important, you get it the right way around. Area of a non-right angled triangle. This is half AB, which are your lengths, sine C, which is an angle. Circumference of a circle. That is either pi D or two pi R. The tan rule for trigonometry in a right angle triangle. Tan X of the angle is the opposite over the adjacent. Area of a circle. Your area is pi R squared. R is your radius, that is a bit from the middle to the edge. Volume of a pyramid. That is a third area of the base times height. Area of a rectangle. Nice easy one here, that is length times width. Area of a triangle. Another nice easy one here. Half base times height. Area of a trapezium. Trapezium is half A, B, which are the two different length sides. Do that bit first and then times it by the height. Pressure, good one. This one comes off in physics as well. Force over area. So your sides in trigonometry when you have a right angle triangle. If this is your angle down here, your hypotenuse is the long one, your adjacent is the one next to the angle, and your opposite is the one opposite the angle. Density, another nice one that comes up in physics, is mass over volume. Your cosine rule, one of the nastier ones to have to remember, it is a squared equals b squared plus c squared, those are your sides, minus 2bc, more sides, cos a, which is an angle. a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a. Volume of a cuboid. Nice simple one here after that one, that is length times width times height. Pythagoras. Love Pythagoras. A squared plus B squared equals C squared, where C is your hypotenuse, the long one opposite the right angle. Sine trigonometry for your right angle triangle, whereas sine X is the opposite over the hypotenuse. Your sine rule, there are quite a lot of sine rules to learn. A over sine A equals B over sine B equals C over sine C, where on top we have the length and on the bottom we have the angles. Cos trigonometry. Cos X equals the adjacent over the hypotenuse. Your quadratic equation, where we have A squared plus B ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. To solve that, you need to use x equals minus b plus or minus the square roots of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. You have to learn that one. Volume of a cylinder. That is pi r squared height, where r is a radius, which is the middle to the edge. 
the volume of a prism. That is the cross section times the length. Area of a parallelogram. Good word, parallelogram. That is base times height. Speed. Another one that comes up in physics is distance over time. And there we go guys. Um, you cannot get away with not knowing these. You have to have to have to learn them, I'm afraid. So either make your own flashcards or watch this video again um, and again and again until you know them using the flashcards that I've already made for you. Good luck.